Hi folks, welcome to Just Ask George. I'm David Wolf, affiliate banker with BH Capital Limited, here with the president and founder. Thank you. <laughs> Fill in the blank. George Lovato Jr., an expert, uh, 30 years now in uh, structured finance, corporate finance, and uh, that's why you're here watching, because we get to pick his brain, and I love this. George, uh, this segment, of course, is called, Is There Money Out There? And I guess we're going to highlight insurance companies and sort of the nuances around all of that. I, You know, sort of in our warm-up on this segment, uh, you brought up a couple of very interesting points, as you always do. Ooh, thank you. And, I, you know... I can't count the number of times that I've uh, had a client tell me, well, you know, well, I've been to my bank and I've tried to find uh, insurance companies that will lend me the money for my building or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And I never could find the person, the right person that can make the decision in the insurance company. And I'm never surprised by that. I'm, I'm really never, never surprised because uh, they're literally thousands of chartered insurance companies on the horizon and we we all know the big ones you know pacific life mutual in new york that, 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 that we can go on forever there is a, a certain expectation of what they like to see uh, there are requirements in terms of getting that story part of the credit out and sort of the the attempt to weave your way through the roadmap of who's who in the company is virtually impossible for the average person. Okay, and I tell them that I'm not surprised you couldn't find somebody. I'm I'm not uh, in the least um, shocked that you spent three months talking to one company, getting referred to person to person, and that is it's not a well kept secret. It's just that if they have a channel from which they receive. Uh, the incoming deal. They have a channel from which they uh, see the credit part of the story. And all those people are familiar with the requirements. And so when you do have an opportunity to present to uh, an insurance company, there's not one person, but there's usually four, five, or six uh, that sort of act as the catchers behind the plate to look at these various transactions. Mm -hmm. And then it's sort of ping-ponged around a little bit in terms of, uh, you know, what do you think of this? What do you, you know, do we have money in the budget this year? Is this the sort of thing we want to we want to get into? And, sure. and, and so you can't be expected to find out how to get there. And the probability is, is that they're not going to talk to the average Joe on the street. And there's also an expectation of critical mass, how big the transaction is mm -hmm. so what you need to do is understand that there's a channel and that's the channel you got to get to so there's usually people like BH Capital and 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 some other merchant banking firms and some other banks that actually have those direct connections the the inline plug-in to that group of three or four or five guys that are talking about this year's budget and so You've on. You mentioned offline too that uh, each insurance company has its own preferences, don't they? In terms of the type of deal, size deal, you have to know that. Don't even you? where they are, even where they where the deal is. So there's geography. geography yeah. yeah, there's yeah. geography involved. There's uh, there's deal size. There's preference in particular industries. Per certain types of real estate that they like. I see. And they're active. They are active. They are. There active. is money out there. There is money out there. And insurance and companies are a primary source for one of several, I guess. For we we talked Capital. about this last week about the changing qualifications. What makes a deal uh, one acceptable and mm -hmm. attractive? Uh, how do you get past the first speed bump in the parking lot to get somebody's attention? Yeah. And so you 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 have to you have to you know check mark every one of those requirements. And uh, mm -hmm. believe me, they're looking for uh, various opportunities to finance, to put their money to work. That doesn't mean that you go to an insurance company for an investment, an equity investment in a startup company. I mean, yeah, yeah, there yeah. has to be real assets and so on and so forth. Right. And it's generally related to real estate. Uh, Is that true? In other words, usually there's a real estate collateralization piece to this. Is that what you mean in terms of the asset piece? I would say 90% of the time mm -hmm. that's the case. They want to see I won't mention asset. any names, but sure. I was involved in a very large drugstore chain mm -hmm. that uh, was uh, expanding very rapidly, and they wanted 
to lease these properties that they were building. They didn't want to own them. Sure. So they pulled in two different developers, one of which was my client, and those two developers went out there and built these properties and then leased them back to this very large chain. Sure. The money for those transactions came from a very large insurance company. Okay. So that gives you an idea. Yeah, that's a great sense of uh, what kinds of deals, understanding that there's a spectrum right, as well. Right, exactly. All right, great. Well, there is money out there, folks. BH Capital is the website where you can find uh, uh, lots of content, the blog, um, the book, The Obstacle Course by George Lovato Jr., and uh, free ebooks books uh, uh, that we've mentioned on this series as well. Just ask uh, George. Coming in October, you'll be able to download and also receive the freemium of Stupid Without a License right. from all three of the websites, right. uh, right. obstaclecoursebooks.com, bhcapitalltd.com, and justaskgeorgeradio.com. Beautiful, beautiful. I, don't you feel sorry, sorry for Steve Garth having to manage all those websites? And It's a lot to do. I don't, think, I don't think I feel sorry for Steve. Steve He's behind the think? camera there. Steve's behind the camera, folks. You can't see him now, but uh, he's always with us. Just know that. <laughs> there it is. Uh, just ask George. Thanks for watching. Uh, and by the way, if you're watching in the long tail, George referred to October. We're sitting together in, what is it, September of 2011. You might be watching this in uh, 2020. Who knows? And the book are, might already be a bestseller. Exactly. So. <laughs> this is all evergreen, folks. The fundamentals don't change in structured finance. Right, George? Exactly. All right. Triple www.bhcapitalltd.com. We'll see you next time.